Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie featuring Vicky Bootin, Evergreen and Holly range. So I took three pieces of paper and I cut out um, all the parts. So the envelopes are from the Season of Wonder, the tags are from Merriest Days and the uh, leafy greeny bits are from, bear with me, Boughs of Holly. So the background paper that I've got there is actually called Evergreen. It's got a white square in the middle and obviously uh, Evergreen around the edge. So I had an idea in my mind and I wasn't sure if it was going to work. I'll let you be the judge of that because I, I carried on and I made the layout that I was thinking of. So the idea is I'm going to use the envelopes as envelopes and I've taken eight of them out of the nine from the paper and I'm going to create a wreath with them on top of the background paper. I've taken the tags and I've chosen a tag to go with each of the envelopes. So now just with a blade and uh, I'm on a glass mat there, I'm actually putting a cut in each of the envelope, which means that the tag could be inserted into the envelope. Am I making sense? Um, I can, it was a really good idea in my mind, I thought at the start, and I'm quite pleased with the outcome, but anyway, we'll get that far. So I'm just making the tags into tags. So if you, on the other side, some of them have got words, some of them have got pictures. They've all got a space to write on one side, which is kind of what I wanted. Uh, so I'm just trimming the ends um, to make them tag shaped, just with a pair of scissors. Uh, and then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna punch the holes in them as well so that they're all ready to be um, tags. So the thoughts behind this was, as I say, I wanted to create a wreath shape on that background paper um, of the envelopes with tags in to be able to journal the small things that make your Christmas yours. Now I don't do a Christmas journal. Um, I, I have done in the past but in the last um, 10, 12 years I've been doing Project Life I find it very difficult to do Project Life and a Christmas journal and generally scrapbook. So um, the Christmas journal is the one thing that I don't do. Um, but I find that my December pages, they're very useful in my project life for recording things. But I wanted to use these tags in these envelopes to record the little things. Uh, things that may not actually ever get a layout about them or things that are just very personal to my family. Things that are changing, times that are changing potentially. Um, and particularly if you didn't do a, a journal and this could be or if you did a Christmas album, this could be a good starting page um, to use these uh, in a way to record the little things. So that is the thought process that I had. I loved the envelope piece of paper. I think it was even the B side of that piece of paper. Um, and I wish I'd got more than one. Uh, it's called Seasons of Wonder, as I mentioned at the beginning, because I really I think they're a very versatile uh, part of this range. Tags, I love tags, lots of people do tags, but these envelopes, I hope to see them again in another Vicky Bootin range. I, I, yeah, as a, I think I've sold them to you, haven't I? <laughs> I? I really, really like them. So I'm just, so I'm sticking down the envelopes only by the flap at the top, because obviously I need the tag to move underneath. So as you can see, I'm actually overlapping them a little. Uh, and what I've done with the actual point of the envelopes, I'm going to just stick underneath a little uh, foam pad just to give a little bit of depth. In the end, I tend not to worry about it because actually it ends up uh, a little thicker than I was expecting the whole layout does. But at this stage it felt very flat, so I just wanted to make sure. Also, it stops the tags of the lower envelopes falling out because there's a little bit of a slope for them to go up. Um, so I was just looking through and I want to put a piece of paper in the centre. That's just a circle template that I'm using and I'm just drawing around it because I want to stick the circle to the envelopes. Obviously I can't stick it to the tags because that would stop them moving. So just took a little bit of thought process at this, at this stage to make sure that when I stick that circle down it's not going to stick to anything it shouldn't. Now I've decided I'm going to make a wreath within a wreath with this. So using those bits I covered, uh, cut out from, I think, was it Boughs of Holly, something like that paper. Um, and I cut out some poinsettias from a paper out the six by eight pad, but they don't actually make the final cut. I just felt they were one step too far because there is a lot going on. And I do admit that it is a full on page, uh, but it's, it's there for a reason. So I'm actually going to use just the greenery sprigs 
and I'm going to leave that. Um, that joy is from the die cut set. I am going to have that in the centre with the bow at the top like you would with a normal wreath. So it comes to me that actually um, I'm determined to use those flowers. They don't make the cut, but at this stage, I don't know, I'm plugging away with them. I decided it was easier to make this wreath off the layout than on. So as long as those greenery bits are stuck to the circle and not to the worktop, I'm absolutely fine. So I'm going to work from the bow downwards and around to the bottom. So uh, I'm going to carry on doing that. So it's taking me a little while just to get them all into position. I think I end up cutting a couple more. And then when I'm happy with it, I actually, using foam pads, stick it onto the envelopes, not obviously not the tags in the centre, on top of the layout. So we've got a little bit of depth definitely going on. I've, sti I've stuck the decoration in the centre on foam as well, just a bit of pale green uh, embroidery floss, and I'm going to stick the, those underneath the ends, underneath the bow. I have trimmed the bow down, the white round the bow down a little bit because I just felt there was too much white um, on that die cut. So I'm just using the same embroidery thread, just bringing a little bit of thread in um, to put in the tags. I, I, come up, I didn't know whether to do bows or whether just to do a little bit of straight cotton. In the end, I go with the bows. I think they look a little bit better and I work my way around off camera with the crochet thread and just put a little bow in every tag. So you'll see here that I've got two six by fours um, with some photographs on. I've printed these myself on a selfie just by using a photo app to produce, produce more than one picture on a six by four because the tags aren't very big and the majority of tags do end up with a photograph on, uh, um, but they all end up with journaling on. So I picked some photos that remind me of some small things connected with Christmas and uh, I don't use them all in the end, but I just wanted to um, get a few printed. So I'm going round with a post-it note and a list and I'm looking at what I want to include on these tags. So I know you can't hear my brain, but I'm going to go through a few things with you. I've came up with a really long list of ideas. I will include it in the comments, but there must be 20 plus ideas on there of things you could put on these tags. Um, some of the things that I have gone with is Christmas baking. We always bake on Christmas Eve, my daughter and I. Uh, and for Christmas dinner, my dad always makes a special stuffing that I've eaten all my life. And I wanted to remember that. And that is on. That's actually all on one tag. I now do a Christmas Eve box for my nephew. That's a new tradition. He's only three. That is on a tag, plus a picture of the box. And I love to watch him open that. And that is something that's not had a layout made about it, but is something that is important to me. Um, there's a poinsettia there that's um, getting its own tag. My mum and dad buy me one at the beginning of December every single year. I can't remember when they haven't. And to me, it marks the start of Christmas. And I, I know it's in my Christmas journal, but I, it's never had a layout. And it's now going to be on a layout. So you can see the sort of things that I'm including. I'm just trying to get them in a nice position round on the tags. Some of the tags, I don't want to cover the picture on the other side. So uh, I've... For example, the one that's at the top at like 12 o'clock says 25 on the other side. And I don't use a photo on that tag because I like, the, I like the numbers on the other side. Some of the others, I do put a photo, but it doesn't cover all of it. Some of it, I actually put a photo on and, I've, and I actually mat it with paper from the 6x8 pad. Obviously, it all depends which tags you picked. What's, I didn't pick them for the images on the other side. I only picked them to go with the colours, just to go with a general theme. So it's just the way it is. I mean... If you have more than one set, you could use some repeats. Um, but I've made, a, as I say, I made a long list. There's so many things that you could use. Um, that to, Little memories that I'm sure that are personal to you, um, that would be nice for somebody to look at in the future. I mean, when you first look at the layout, when it's all done and the tags are all tucked in, you wouldn't necessarily believe all the information that's there. But here I am just showing you the advent calendar we used, the Christmas box, Christmas lights, I talk about trips to London. There's, I would really recommend it if you get a chance to do this sort of thing. Um, I really enjoyed making it. I enjoyed it, do it journaling about the small things. So thank you so much for watching. Do check out this range in the store and I hope to see you again here soon and I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Bye for now.